Hey guys, welcome to Beer and Bat Reps, or Beer and Banter. Yeah. It's Nick and Noah, and we got Logan here. Uh, so, as you can see, our That's huge library. Library. Can see it. we have our library with us. Uh, this Beer and Banter is just about stratagems. Very generic. We have it broken into three sections to make it a little easier for us, so we're not just rambling and shouting out random stratagems. Right. Um, first one we want to talk about was essential stratagems. So, my kind of mindset was... Maybe the less powerful codexes that need these stratagems to even be remotely good. Like, right, you're absolutely have to essential. You build your army around If you it. don't use it, you're not doing the army correctly, basically. So not necessarily OP. Or, or competitively. Like yes. <laughs> so, like, first one, I top, main one that came to my mind was shooting twice with Slanesh Cat Space Marines. It's so almost good. like you can't yeah. even run Havocs or Obliterators as any other mark. And I know you've talked about Nurgle a little bit with Obliterators, right? Something to do. Yeah, because it gives them like a zero up save or something like that. Yeah. Tree adds plus one save, so or well, one. It's up. just like it's the only way to run. You can't space marine such yeah, a low tier book right you come now. Come in and you glass cannon someone, but you always glass cannon. Like you always shoot with yeah. your glass cannon. You have guys, to. if yeah. you do like Obliterators or whatever. Or just four last cannon havocs. Shooting it twice can still yeah. be not bad. Yeah. Even or, like the auto cannon thing, the new one they just got is really good. Yeah, new heavy weapon. that one's yeah. tricky. You almost want to put it in OP because things like the Leviathan Dreadnought can use it and shoot twice. Yeah. But their book is so low tier that I didn't want to put it as OP because well, they you have to do it. Well, there's also another stratagem in that Vigilance of Blaze book where you can shoot the Havoc pretty much three times with the March of Sinesh because whenever you move at the end of the opponent's movement phase, they get then you to get shoot. to shoot. Yeah. And oh, man, so that's you, nasty. So you can shoot them like three times. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, yeah, there's some tricky combos. So it's all based around one unit. Yeah. But, but then when the smoke is cleared, you're still just doing Chaos Space Marines. Yeah. Sorry, Chaos Space Marine players. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've tried it Chaos several Soup times. Chaos is good, but. Yeah, Chaos Soup is Marines? one of the strongest, but man, it's hard. I think Abaddon helped them, but we won't get into there. Yeah. Yet. Before I forget, too, there's. Um, it's in the Chaos Space Marine book for the Red Corsairs, I think it was, mm -hmm. where you get to recycle a unit of 20. You can recycle a unit of 20 Chaos Space Marines okay. for free. So, so kind of like Green Tide. It's like, orcs, yeah. Or the Tide of Traitors. For, mm -hmm. Yeah. Alpha Legion. Or but 20 is. Marines. Yeah. And they got cheaper with, uh, what was it, Chapter Proof? Yeah. yeah. They yeah. Go at 12 or something. Uh, or something. Uh, so Chaos can bring them in units of 20, so yeah. the Legion size. So it's not bad. Nasty. Not bad. Oh, when I'm doing that with, like, uh, what's the combat? Is it World Eaters? They get a strength and an attack when they charge. That'd be kind of good. I don't, I don't do those. It's only for Red Corsairs. Mm -hmm. Red Corsairs. Oh, okay, yeah. Cool. So yeah. I can't remember what their bonus is. I know that they get plus three CP if you take three units of Chaos Space Marines in a battalion. Oh, so yeah. it's eight CP. It's not bad. But CP spam. You mentioned yeah. the Green Tide, which is probably the orcs' best. So yeah, I'm saving that for OP, in my opinion. <laughs> Just because I fought it in tournaments, and I yeah. go, really? I killed 20 well, it's also orcs. essential. You're not playing yeah. orcs right. If you this is where the lists get kind of muddy, because <laughs> you're like, this is OP, but it's also essential to that player. So Anyway, yeah. if you don't know, it's you bring a understrength unit of boys back, but you can deep strike them. Yeah, so. it'd be strong enough if it was just, hey, you killed 29 out of 30, I'm bringing them all back. Well, Not only that, they pick them up and they put them on an objective somewhere. I think it has to be under so, 10. Yeah, it does exactly. You do have to, I don't like, you have to kill enough of them. They have to kill, like, yeah. You can't just kill one. I mean, it's 3 CP, right? It's yeah. a big one. Yeah. It's expensive. But honestly, I've seen it affect so many tournament games that I'm almost like, make it back, make it 4. Like, yeah. it's so good. It is. Our players good. would still do it because they, they are on, like, triple brigades and have 27 command points mm -hmm. anyway. Right. So, yeah. Um, it's, that's a borderline essential, yeah, OP for sure. We're getting the exact rules here since we have our whole library. Um, as soon as I find it. One, just one to get out of the way, because I don't want to say the name of every one of them. I, I just kind of casually put, fight twice with any combat-based army. Because a lot of books have that strat. Yeah, and almost it is, all of them. It is, it is either when you die, or at the end of the combat yeah, phase, It's or so hard to get to your opponent if you're a combat army, that when you finally get there, you should be able to fight twice. Be rewarded. <laughs> I think it should cost two, because shooting twice only costs two. Like, why would combat one cost three? Well, it depends in the codex and yeah, stuff. Yeah, didn't you say your Grey Knights is a little cheaper to fight twice? So like, so no, the fight twice is still three, but the okay. fight when you die is one for gotcha. Grey Knights. Oh, that's I couldn't find anywhere where it went up. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, it's under half for the half. Unstop okay. Unstoppable Green Tide. So that kind of helps because then you don't have to buy the whole 30 pack to use it. Um, solid. 
We talked a little bit about the tile marker light one where so there's a couple different marker light ones. There's the one where you just get a marker light hit and a CP adds D3 to that, which mm -hmm. is solid, you know, especially when you put it on like a cadre who's hitting real well, you're going to get the marker light hit. And I forget which sept it was, but one of them has the, a sept specific where essentially you I get a marker set, light uh, hit and then the every set. unit, That's any what, unit within six takes a marker light hit. I don't even think you have to roll the hit. I think it just has to be visible to happens. a fire site marksman and in range of character. Yep. Wow. It's but I can't just, remember it. It's just pick an enemy unit visible to a character. All other enemy units within six inches of that unit get a marker light. So you do that, then you hit them with another reliable marker light and plus D3 and one Although, minute's... Although, then everybody's re-rolling ones. Right. If somebody has their army, like a screen stretched out across their whole army, so then pretty much the whole army has got marker lights on them on the yeah. first turn. The marker light plus D3 is any Tau army, so yeah. You right. use it every game if you play Tau. So that's why it's, I kind of thought it was essential. It's solid. And I know recently Tau has been like winning a lot of tournaments because of drone spam, yeah, but for most tied. of 8th edition, they were not that great. And yeah, so they've always been kind of like kind of needed mid, that mid-ish tier. Right. I think like they're just really good against Space Marines. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, I mean, that too. Are there any combat armies? But the, uh, the branch yeah. Nova Charge is good too with Riptides. It's instead of just choosing one of your abilities, you get to choose two and just take Mortal Wounds. So you Nova Charge your weapon and you get a three up and vulnerable save. So uh, not too bad. Was Plus, that in seventh and sixth edition? That sounds new. Uh, I don't. Think so. Well, there were no stratagems, but I guess it used that, to have the, the ability, ability to wound itself and get bonuses, right? Doesn't that kind it of still it still has the uh, that, was that, was just, that you can just do that twice. Yeah. Ugh. So like you get the you take two mortal wounds. You take a mortal wound. Bonuses. Actually, I think you just take one mortal wound for that. Yeah, just as, so yeah. so you take a mortal wound and spin a CP to get two bonuses. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that's not bad. No, it's it's good. I think the main reason to take the extra D three marker lights is now you can instead of buying marker drones, you can buy shield drones. And yeah. so you just spam those like crazy, which is what everyone does. Yeah, and it's hard to watch. <laughs> Sorry, top players. Right. They can just <laughs> yeah. fix in some marker board. drones in there because everybody else is minus one to hit whenever they move. Marker yeah. drones aren't. Yeah, but they also hit on fives. Yeah, but yeah. No, I, I like uh, I like putting one on no, the, the drone controller, the cadre, in each unit of fire warriors because they you can't target them really. And yeah, he gets on fours or fives if you move. But mm -hmm. They're only three more points. But the only other good one I like from the Tau is the most expensive, but it's for the Tau Sep specific one. And it's three CPs, but once one of your units has wounded an enemy unit, you spend it in the shooting phase, and the rest of your army gets plus one to wound that unit. So, like, really good against knights. If you have, like, one or two effective things, you're like, okay, I'm going to shoot my, you know, yeah, that's uh, really Milta that, That's Tau Sep? Yeah. That's their main thing. Yeah, that's, that's like really their best strategy. Mm -hmm. It's so good. It's it's kind of like overlapping the reason of fire from Cadia. Really. It's literally the same thing. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. It sounds it's a lot like the same and, thing. And kind of like the Imperial Fist one you were just telling me about. Yeah, that one's just one, just unit, one unit, but it's any unit. It's plus one to wound against a vehicle. Now we could spend all day talking about Aldari, but the main one I thought of when I thought of essential, like you had to use it every game all the time, was lightning fast reflexes. That all three yeah, armies. Yeah. You just use it every turn. You use it. I think Fire and Fade's pretty good. And that's in all three yeah. Eldari books as well. Um, oh, yeah. Just shoot and move seven inches. Yeah. You can either, like with Harlequins, if you really want to close the gap, you can't charge after you do it, but you can move, advance, shoot, move seven inches. Yeah, or pull good. back, like whatever you need well, to do. Well, we just found out this next one, Prismatic Blur for Harlequins. It's if you advance for one CP, you get a three-up interval instead of a four-up. Um, I think that's almost essential every time. The problem is... Just shoot other units. Yeah. I mean, there's ways around it. But well, if you do the what Twilight Pathways or whatever makes you move again in mm -hmm. the Psychic Phase, you can use it twice. Right. Different phases. Yeah, that's like a total loophole that GW <laughs> hasn't caught because no one, no one, no one wins really. anything with Harlequins in their major tournaments. It goes so to like, the webway. They, but they so, don't. yeah, you, you, you advance one bike unit and it has a three of Invul with Prismatic Blur for the rest of the turn. You can, since you can only do one strategy per phase, then in the psychic phase, you make a move again with a spell, and that spell you can advance, so then you pop it again. Yeah. So you have two bike units with three bindles. It's really crazy. We looked it up. We were like, there's no way this is allowed, and I just think it's flown under the radar. Yeah. If you've got a third bike unit, though, and it takes any damage, isn't there a strategy to... That's the next give it? phase. Well, it, it, um, if it dies... If one dies in any phase, you can pop it, and then the rest of the turn they get it. So you're hoping one dies in like the psychic but phase. But it happens at the yeah. end of that phase. Right. So you're hoping like a biker dies in the psychic phase so that mm. you have 
the bonus the rest of that turn. Yeah. So it doesn't start immediately when mm-hmm. one of them dies. No. Yeah, I, I think I cheated this a few times. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Cheater. Right? Yeah, Harlow comes up some solid ones, and they're good. Eldari, yeah, definitely lightning fast. If you want to go more specific, I mean, Vect is an awesome one. Everyone yeah. should know. I don't like. I don't even have that as essential fluff or OP because it's it's a, just, it just it just costs fun. so much now that it's yeah. not even worth doing. Four it's not really. It's it's fun to mix in there. Uh, one that's really good is the linked fire for fire prisms. Makes them stupid. You can hide two. Yeah, that, that's one an OP pops one. out. Because they have to be sick within 60 inches of each, of each other. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's the whole board. So I have that on the OP side. Yeah. Man, that's so good. They were just talking about that on Tabletop Tactics. It's, it's about very, how powerful that is. Very good. Um, I played against it and cried. My tanks died. Quickly. You'll know the name of it, uh, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> the Grey Knights, where they boost their guns. I think you can't play the game without that. No. The the, it's a... Uh, Cybolt. I think yeah. one's like Cybolt Ammunition and the other one's Psychic Onslaught. There's two different ones. The Cybolt Ammunition busts like Storm Bolters, and it gives them an extra strength and a rend on their Storm Bolters. Strength 5 Storm Bolters. So if you keep that and get Doctor. I mean, so you draw but, it but it's 10, 2 CP for 10 that. Terminators, and they shoot 4 each with 5 strength and 2 AP. Yeah, yeah it's not bad. It's not bad. It'll dust a lot. They're very expensive. Green. And it's like 2 CP, right? And it's 2 CP, and, and, and regular know. Marines get that, those bonuses. Yeah, right. they get, they, yeah, they get those bonuses for free, so... Uh, Sorry. Again, we're, we're getting a little Marines. left behind more and more. Yeah. And then the psychic onslaughts for the heavier guns, like the silencer. And That's the one you do every game. Yeah, I've seen you do that every time. Yeah, because it's really good on the Dread Knight guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because it makes one of their guns strength 8, AP minus 2, 2 damage. That's one the strongest gun. Before we get too far away from Chaos Space Marine, the other one that stood out as essential was Veterans of the Long War. Just plus one to yeah. win. Everyone does it. It's a great one. You can't yeah. you can't play the game without it, basically. It, you it pop it on seem... that Slanesh unit yeah. that shooting twice, yeah. and all of a sudden... <laughs> what we were talking about earlier, it can seem OP, uh, overpowered, if you don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah. Did you uh, play Starcraft yeah. for video games? <laughs> video games? Yeah. Um, it can seem OP if someone does it on a Slanesh Leviathan Dreadnought. Yeah. In there plus one Luckily, they can't twice. take Storm Cannon or Ice or I'd cry every yeah. game. They just go, and your Primaris army is dead. Uh, <laughs> Mechanicus army and um, Knight, and I don't know, I assume Space Marines have this, but the stratagems that are 1 CP to allow you to act at full bracket when you're an injured. Uh, yeah, vehicle. there's it a, seems like that's the Tau have that as well. Yeah, then you don't really see it outside of Riptides. Or like... Yeah. Um, I mean, for knights, for oh, it's, all of 8th edition, that's been the go-to. Is it's great. Uh, that's why you take... Uh, Mechanicus yeah. over Imperium. Yeah. yeah. Um, last couple ones. Uh, I think full tilt with knights, charging after you advance. Yeah, it's That's so been used good. in every night game I've ever seen. I mean, seen it makes the combat knight viable, and he's so cheap. Chaos Knight's got that as well, too, didn't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, same yeah. wording, same name, everything. No, oh, it's, cool. it's good. It's... I mean, again, it's like rotate ion shields. Like, you just do it. Yeah. So, a stratagem you do with the knights. This goes right along with that. Uh, I think Tyranids have one called Metabolic Overdrive, where you move twice. And so, with, like, Gene Sealers, it's essential. You can't charge after it, but, like, you take one pack and have the Swarm Lord move it twice, and then it charges. And then the second pack it's moves twice. It doesn't two. charge, but it's just, like, sitting right there. So, it's a threat. I did it to you once. You smoked me with all your Storm Bolters, but... <laughs> The one time Granites just crushed yeah. somebody. Yeah. <laughs> that was the one time. Granites can handle Tyranids for some reason. Uh, I think everyone. I just like jotting this down at work, but Deep Strikes, Deep Strike strategy for every army. Yeah, Seems like, like most armies have that. And you can yeah. Deep Strike non So deep strike even like an Orc 30 pack can do it. Like right. everyone can do oh, it. Oh, you can. So yeah, a cool, a cool thing stuff. you can do with Orcs is that the Orc strategy, you, it has to be under 20 power level. Okay. So, like, the Gorkonauts, I think, 18 power level or something like that. You can so string it up a board edge or something? You can just deep strike it. It shows up nine inches away, and there's another stratagem that you can use whenever it charges. And you roll 3d6 for the charge. instead of, And, and then s- it can re-roll it because it's got ear we go. I was about to say, it still has the orc roll. Yeah, so it just makes And then on a two-up, the unit you charge on two-up, it suffers d3 more wounds. And it's so, a so it stone horn from so, AOS. Yeah. So it's got like Damn. here the Gorgonaut has six attacks that it's like a knight. I swear I've seen someone bring in like a unit of orc dreadnoughts off of board edge. Maybe they were just doing that strat and they were just close to the board edge. I don't know. I don't but know. I think so because the only or the jump jump thing or something. Area, but the jump I think is only infantry. 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 Yeah. Um, I don't know. The jump. Just throw it up. 
Use okay. a stratagem during deployment. You can set up an orc unit from your army with a power rating of 20 or less. Yes. So you could, you could drop like a battle wagon. Well, I mean, there's, space. Al- there's also another one by um, the Blood Axe. It's called Dead Sneaky, and it's just infantry units. And you can play some. It's just cheaper. The four Marines just dropped. This was the book everyone was complaining about where they had a stratagem for literally anything that could come up in the game. Yeah. They were like, the orcs have stratagems for everything. Um, and now Marines. And now Marines. Oh, wait. Yeah. An- another essential stratagem for orcs is showing off. That's the one where you can shoot twice. Oh, I have that on OP because I, I literally wrote, orcs have two different well, you shoot put, twice stratagems. You put the Celestial <laughs> one. Yeah. No, I put, oh, it, I, put it as, I put it as OP because orcs have two different ones with different names. To where they yeah. shoot twice. Well, yeah. One Same is the guy. Well, you, have to, yeah. Times. Yeah. you have to pay more pain points to the other. Oh, yeah. I watched an 85 point shock attack gun shoot three times and use 10 command points in one turn. Right. Because like, they did more DACA. They did uh, shoot twice with two different yeah, times. That, so that, that was probably the only time that he could do it. Yeah, and he killed six Harlequin bikers, so he like tripled his point cost in one <laughs> turn. I mean, yeah, but it took 10 command points. So yeah. yeah. Once they run out, they're not near as strong, but. Um, I don't know, any other essential ones before we move on to fluff slash fun ones? I mean, there's the generic book ones, like, re-rolls aren't mm. bad situationally. Don't mm. get trapped into them. Don't do them too much. And or, like, like uh, if you bring big blobs that don't run, it's oh, really it good. It, yeah. you know, or it's horse have to use them. Yeah. And on occasion, just depending on the army that you have, of course, is the um, prepared positions. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. The one where you get cover, cover when you go second. It's yeah. great. That's why you it's, play... Uh, you know, Imperial fight. I never thought it was that strong, but then uh, Noah has a National Autonomous Army that is like, what, 12 vehicles? Uh, I trimmed, ten? I trimmed ten? it down now to 7. 7? But it used to be about 10. So when it was 10, I'd be like, cool, I'm going first, and then he'd be like, they're all two upsaves. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, oh, God. So... It can be really good if you're like vehicle heavy suddenly, you know, because it doesn't work on like knights because it doesn't work on Titanic, but it still works mm-hmm. on vehicles. Yeah. So then you're just two ups. Or like any new Primaris army, you're just, oh, I'm two up safe the whole yeah. army. Just hanging out. Yeah. Or one up with Terminators. <laughs> Whatever you want, no big deal. Yeah. There, I mean, I'm sure there's plenty we're missing because there's so yeah. many. Warp, yeah. Access, but. Warp Surge with Demons. Sorry, I'm sure you can hear my dogs barking. Uh, warp Surge with Demons is the plus one invul. I feel like. Yeah. Back when I used to run demons a lot, That's, I had to do it yeah. every combat phase. Basically. So you can get a unit of pink horrors to a three up. No, I think it says max four. four it's max right. four. That's yeah, good. Uh, <laughs> but uh, still, I used to run like the twelve pack of blood crushers with a four pimple. Yeah. So well, that, even that was like pretty good. plague bearers, like enjoy mm-hmm. getting me off this objective. Yeah, four up invul, five up feel no pain, minus yeah. one to hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty gross. That's honestly why plague bearers went up in points. For yeah, stratagem. So I don't know if this one would go in essential or OP, but Tau have another stratagem. It's called um, command something command override. Command node maybe. I, I can't think remember I know what you're talking about. It's, it's, it's one where a battle suit unit does not a commander does not shoot, okay. and if, if he's in range of a battle suit unit, they get to reroll all failed wound rolls. Okay, so it comes like a super lieutenant. So, yeah, but it's only for like one battle suit unit. But, but you a do that. is a battle suit. You do it on a riptide <laughs> or a unit of nine, bro- or a unit of three bot sides. What about so the nine. big uh, super heavy? Is that a battle suit? Yep. Yes, it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. So just shoot away. You're like my little drone controlling commander is who doesn't have guns anyway. Or the forge rolled riptide with the big flamer. Just yeah. reroll wounds with it. It may already do that. I don't actually know the rules of that thing. I heard it's nasty though. It's Flamer's, like, 3d6. I think it's, like, strength... I think it's strength 6. I can't remember. It's, like, AP minus 3, 3 damage, or AP minus 2, 3 damage. But when you you can overcharge it like you can a Riptide, and then it's, like, 3d6 shots. So I always six. feel like when we're talking about flame weapons, and when you see them on paper, they look so strong, and then when you actually play the game, like, they're not good. They're okay, but they're not, like... Like the Valiant, you're like, oh my god, this thing's so amazing. Yeah, and but then like, or just and kill like a couple you hit, things. You hit something, and yeah, you roll average, and they roll average, and you kill like four Primaris. If anyone something. watching plays ITC and wants to forward this to Frontline Gaming, who does the ITC rules, um, I think that Flame Weapons should be able to shoot into Magic Boxes from the outside of Magic Boxes. Yeah, if they're like within three inches Because what something. do you do when someone's bunkered up in a house? You shoot it with a flamethrower, and you burn it down. Yeah. Like, it Burn wouldn't change the game that much, but then you wouldn't see so many people at ITC tournaments with the 
tanks that ignore line of sight. I feel like that's all you see. And that's what my list you can is. Bring is a couple more tanks. Yeah, and you can bring a couple tanks. more flamers and just like torch through windows and stuff. I don't know. I think it'd be cool. In World War Two, people got in bunkers and they send in the guy with the flamethrower. Right. And that's what you do. So I don't know. I think that'd be a cool rule, and that would help flamers a little bit. But you know. yeah, and still, magic boxes are great because nothing at range is gonna hit you. Right. Like, it makes sense, and it wouldn't break the game. So yeah, that'd be solid. Uh, any more essentials we need to talk about? I mean, like the one you would always talk about, where like if you just happen to have a space marine unit that's out of the chapter master's reroll bubble for a CP, you can reroll ones. Yeah, I think, I think that's up. ultramarines. I might be wrong though. Maybe it is just ultramarines. Scions of Gollum. Ultramarines are the Swiss Army knife of Warhammer. Yeah. Oh, they're great. Or you just take black or uh, iron hands and just do that naturally. Yeah. We roll ones with heavy weapons. You don't hear about them a lot anymore since they got nerfed, but... I don't even think really they got good. nerfed that bad. They're still really good. They just yeah. bro took away the broken part. We were kind of deciding I still think what chapter to make our new army, but I think I think Imperial Fist is the right choice. They seem so strong. There's a lot of Volter weapons, so yeah. And we kind of based the fluff around Terra, which Imperial Fist are all about Terra, so... Yeah, I mean, their nickname is the Sentinels of Terra. Right, so. and we're yeah. the Falcons of Terra, so there you we go. We go out. Well, we'll... If you guys are ready, we'll move on to uh, the fluff slash fun stratagems, which you don't see in tournaments, but we're going to try to use them in battle reports because they're cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Cool. We're back. Fluff slash fun section. Uh, there's only a couple that really yeah. stand out. I mean, there's some solid ones here and there, and I'm, I'm sure, you know, we missed a few. but One that I found the other day, just going through books. It's called True Grit for Space Wolves. And you said that Imperial Fists have their own version. Mm -hmm. But it's for one CP, just whatever gun you're holding becomes Pistol 2, as long as you're within one inch of an enemy. Yeah. So I just feel like, I don't know, something like Assault Bolt Rifles that are Assault 3 would be nice. Well, yeah. I guess it becomes Pistol 2. So no, I guess Stalker, because then they're damaged 2. So yeah, the be nice this too. one's a little different. It just changes the weapon type to Pistol. You oh, get so the same, same amount of shots, so but it's know. only on Bolt Weapons. This is 2. So this oh, is just an no. old book. So, yeah. Yeah. Old book so you can't change a last cannon to a Pistol? No, that's a Pistol 2. <laughs> that's a, that's <laughs> unfortunate. Paper. But you can change an Assault Bolter on an Inceptor to mm. Pistol. But they have Fly anyway, so I don't really care about yeah. that. Um, then the other one from this book that is just ridiculous. If you're Space Wolves and you're playing against Thousand Suns, you have like exploding hits on a four up instead of a six up. So yeah, there's always like a you know chapter versus chapter or yeah, like yeah, a, yeah. a really fluffy one in almost every codex, and they're hilarious. Like Ultramarines hate word bearers. Like like some like this mm -hmm. one's so overpowered that if you were to face them in a tournament, which no one brings Space Wolves to tournaments, but you would just you have to give up if you're a thousand stones. Like, <laughs> just funny because John plays both space wolves and yeah. thousand <laughs> right stones. exactly. Well, now I'm not seeing it, but I saw it in a battle report for sure on the internet from a trustworthy source. Because <laughs> <laughs> everything you read on the internet or see on the internet is true, kid. To remember, everything. If it's B Bone, I'm gonna believe it. Yeah. <laughs> Why would he lie to me? <laughs> well, oh, man. he doesn't mean to. He means well. He's a human potato, right? That's what he always says. Right. Yeah. Uh, well, now I'm just gone. If you guys have another one, I'll find it. Okay, the, the lone wolf one. That, we that were one's pretty cool. So, yeah, uh, so uh, if it's the last model alive from an infantry other than character servitor or wolf in it. can't be a wolf in it. Yeah. Um, if, it, if that unit has been reduced to a single model, you pop this, and that model's wounds characteristics is increased by two and then it gains the character keyword, and you can reroll failed hit and wound rolls for the whole game. So you were saying uh, the leader of a Thunderwolf Cavalry unit yeah. would just be ridiculous. You'd have five wounds and reroll everything. Yeah. Um, be gross. Even just generic Primaris ones, like an aggressor leader with yeah. five wounds. And or like Reaver. Mm -hmm. Just a cool Reaver guy. So he can reroll all hits and wounds, not just in combat, right? Yeah, it just says reroll failed hit and wound rolls for the remainder of the hmm. game. That's I don't know. So, that's, so yeah, like a... Like a like an aggressor, yeah, an aggressor with, with eighteen of, shots. Yeah, or whatever. that's crazy. Bye bye. Or even just an inceptor, just flying around, dropping yeah, six, six shots, shots and rolling everything with five wounds. Oh, they're pretty silly. No, there's a fun one for Space Marines. Uh, it's just uh, I think Land Raider, Repulsor, or Overpowered. Storm Raven. Just boom. Where it blows up. You think that's auto, auto, blows auto blowing up. up is overpowered? 
It is pretty good. <laughs> but it's expensive. Like you said, Space Marine strategy. Oh, so. just, yeah, just any, yeah. Well, they're not, they're not all overpowered. They just have everything. They just have an answer to every oh, single thing, right. which in itself tools. is a bit overpowered. Right. Tools. They have the deepest toolbox, right? Well, yeah, because you get a toolbox, and then you get, like, a little supplement toolbox, too. Well, that, that sounds fluffy. <laughs> Monster Hunters? For this, orcs? Yeah, but it's for the, a snake bite specific trial. Oh, okay. And just select an enemy model with a wound characteristics of 10 or more. Add one to wound, wound rolls for attacks made by snake bites units that target the model until the end of the phase. But the one that's kind of fluffy and cool, and it's not very good, but it's called the Kill Cruiser Broadside. I like it. Um, <laughs> it's like an orbital bombardment thing. Okay. But it's freebooters only, which are like the pirate work guys. And uh, you use the stratagem at the start of your shooting phase. Select up to D3 points on the battlefield, each more than six inches away from the others, and visible to freebooter freebooters unit from your army. Roll D6 for each unit, friend or foe, within three inches of any of those points. Subtract one for the result being rolled for as a character on five up, except for D3 mortal wounds. Okay, so the one for Space Marines is like on a six up. So this is, I, I'm no, pretty sure. It's, it's on a, I think it's, it's actually on a four up. Orbital Bombardment's a four up character. Or five yeah. Up. So it's a really kind of worse version than that, but mm -hmm. you get to choose D3 points on yeah. the table. I just think it's cool because it's like, what, what's the, a little fluff wording? Free Brooders were often caught. Freebooters will often call upon orbital, orbiting kill cruisers to shell the battlefield from space, causing utter devastation. That's awesome. Isn't it amazing that orcs have spaceships? <laughs> well, and then they believe they were. It's so. like their willpower is strong enough yeah. that the duct tape holds while they're in space. Like, right. it's hilarious. They'll get in rocks it's, and right. turn them to. It's just funny. There's a oh, fluffy yeah. one in this book that, in oh, Harlequins, that. Oh, yeah. um, Basically, if someone leaves combat with you, they can shoot you in the back when you leave combat. It's yeah, that one's really fun. Um, it's all the rare times I've been able to do it. I almost feel bad. Like right. I should warn someone: you don't want to leave combat with that knight because I'm going to shoot six K wire guns. Or whatever. No, there's Excuse some me. fun ones now that knights aren't top tier and you don't really see smash captains anymore. I think death grip is pretty. Fluffy and fun. Oh, for sure. Like you just grab a dude and squeeze the <laughs> crap out of him. He's little shield up, <laughs> and you're like, oh, no, this is bigger than your whole body. So. And then, or uh, just being able to kill something with the fist if it's a vehicle, and then chuck it and do mortal wounds is hilarious. Like, oh, yeah, that's I awesome. love that. <laughs> also, like this other one for the orcs, it's called Drive By Crumpet. Yep. And it's use yeah. a stratagem at the end of the shooting they went phase. On names for sure. Select an evil. And select an evil sun speed freak unit from your army. That unit can immediately make it move as if it were the movement phase, but cannot charge. I just like the name. Move yeah. twice, though. When yeah, it, and when the speed shoots. freak things are like 16 inch movement. Yeah, so, like so go get that objective, basically. Or go get line break. It's drive by crumping. They're just driving by. But they're not crumping anything, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Like, <laughs> they're. I don't know. Crumping, I don't play orcs, and so when I play against them, I pray. I think this one's pretty fluffy for Aldari. I know I don't know that much about Aldari, but the Seer Council, where you have a bunch of yeah. Farseers and Warlocks close together. Yeah, and, uh, and, and you could also say that one's pretty essential because it actually helps out as one well to resolve. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of like the linked one that Thousand Sons have. Yeah, if they're all together, they can reroll. I know we didn't talk about guard essentials, but they're kind of one of those armies like Space Marines where they're so big it really depends on your build. Mm -hmm. So you know, I mean this. 14 units of each type. Or yeah, something like, like, that. like there's so many. What do you want to bring? We got you. But there are some some pretty funny ones. Like, fists, Imperial Fist can do it too, but it's just one CP to have every infantry unit or model in an uh, infantry unit throw a grenade. It's awesome. Pretty fun, pretty silly. I mean, for guard, it's not great because they don't have crack grenades, they only have frag grenades, but not horrible. Yeah, frag, okay, 10d6. Yeah, but I mean, it's you know just as good as first rank fire, second rank fire. It's first rank fire, second rank fire is better. I guess that's true. And it's an order; it's not a CP. So I so. guess it'd be really good on like. A, it's fluffy. It's fun. It's so like a Harlequin Haywire. Or like or if something. somehow you had a line of Reavers and you just were playing Tau and you just threw those grenades that are no Overwatch at like every unit. <laughs> <laughs> no Overwatch. <laughs> You're whole, you're blind. <laughs> I mean, luckily there's not a strategy like that yet. It's just like, three CP, no overwatch for your whole army. <laughs> it, that would be a space marine one, though, right? No, I don't know if it's uh, 
right or not, but that one about Night Lords being able to take away characters' auras. That's mm-hmm. crazy. Fox yeah. screen. Yeah, that's fluffy that's, and essential. Right. It's like, that's hey, cool. Gulliman, cool. peace. <laughs> you yeah, do yeah. nothing. Oh, this comes with the the Vigilus in the back. That's awesome. No, that's his. That's his book. The oh, okay. book. Yeah. So there's another uh, orc stratagem from the Blitz Brigade Specialist Detachment, and it's called Hold On, Boys. And uh, I'm not going to read it because it's real long, but you really essentially take a battle wagon, and if it's within three inches of a unit of infantry guys, then or boys, they all jump on the side of it, and it drives up the field, and it gets off. Hmm. They so all get like, off the side of so it. So like a unit in the mid, it's going by, you can jump on it. That's pretty that's cool. Like, that's awesome. Well, it has to, yeah. Like, they have to be around it at the start of the movement. It almost seems yeah. like something that uh, it's like Mad Max. Dark Eldar would do with their pirate ships, mm-hmm. too. Just, like, hanging out the sides. Well, you can, have, awesome. you can have 20 in the battle wagon, and then 20 jump on the side of it, so then you can just haul 40 boys up with one battle Does wagon. Does it all happen at once, or can you, like, jump in and shoot out of it, and then, like, so it's Okay, well, I guess I'll you read don't, it You don't have to read the whole thing. Use the stratagem <laughs> during the movement phase before you move a clan blip. Blitz Brigade Battle Wagon from your army. Pick a friendly clan infantry unit wholly within three inches of that model and remove it from the battlefield. After that battle wagon is moved, set up the clan infantry unit on the battlefield wholly within three inches of the battle wagon and more than three inches from enemy models. Note that, that, that this infantry unit is not embarked with the battle wagon and therefore does not count towards the numbers of model it can transport. That infantry unit cannot move further this phase, but counts as moving... Move this turn for all rules purposes, and it cannot charge. Oh, it can't charge. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer. But so, it's cool. Picks him up, carries him closer. Hey, add threat. That's yeah. awesome. And then, yeah. very strong, but it's fluffy and cool. Yeah, the guard have some funny ones too. Like I really like crush them. It just you pick a tank and it charges, and if it makes its charge, it uh, it can advance even if it or it can charge even if it advanced and it hits on twos. In the fight phase. So not very good with your average tank, but you put it on like a Bane Blade chassis and you're rolling through units. Yeah. yeah. You did that to me. With the yeah. Bane Blade. Those I honestly cool. think tanks should just do like Mortal Wounds. Yeah, like D3. Yeah, just D3. If, if they, they charge. Not power, just yeah. like, and maybe like well, super heavy tanks do more. You say this is probably one of the worst but funniest uh, stratagems in the Astro Militarum <laughs> book. It's three CPs. Oh. Way too many. And it's oh, wow. if the last model is slain from an Astra Militarum unit that was equipped with a box caster, before removing the model, you roll a d6 for each enemy within three inches of it on a four up d3 mortal wound. So, like, great if your tiny guard squad got surrounded by characters, but otherwise, complete garbage. <laughs> three <laughs> CPs to m- maybe do some mortal wounds? Maybe. Uh, that sounds a bit fluffy, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it, I just imagine the dude screaming, like, fire on my position! And then, kaboom! <laughs> so, I think the fluffiest oh, one I could think hilarious. of for Chaos Knights, it only works if you're fighting Imperial Knights. Oh, yeah. It's a Titanic yeah. duel. Or I guess, no, just other enemy Titanic units. Okay. So you both secretly choose a number between one and three, <laughs> and you hide it. You write it down, or use one D6 that is hidden, like, behind your back. The numbers are revealed at the same time. If they're different until the end of that phase, whatever the amount they're different by. So, and you're picking one through three. So let's say I choose three and you choose one. That's what I'd be two. gaining two attacks. That's all that means. Because they're the same... Uh, neither person gained an attack. So, it's huh. just a way to, like, gain up to two attacks. Mm-hmm. Which is kind of funny when you stomp yeah. and you compound it with other knights and being able to get up to Well, like if it's knight versus yeah. knight, you're probably, like, swinging the fist or something mm-hmm. and getting that couple extra attacks. But then you could dance if you had, what, nine attacks with your knight and you'd use uh, your feet. That'd be 27 attacks. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Chaos knights Kickboxing engage knight. in duels, not for honor, but to assert their absolute dominance over the battlefield. Well, right. search your dominance even unless you know it's not that good one super fluffy one that never comes up is the night one where you can like fight people up on the third oh, floor yeah. of a skyscraper or something that's kind of cool yeah if you can just get your model within two inches or whatever you can just it's like, like it's called uh, sweeping clear something like that so it's, I like this one for the Adeptus Custodes Adeptus Custodes it's called Unleash the Lions Ooh. And it's if you have a thing, if you have a big unit of Alaris Terminators and use the stratagem at the starting movement phase, select a unit of Alaris Custodians from your army on the battlefield, that unit immediately splits into separate units, each containing a single model. Oh, so they're all just like characters. At that so, point. yeah, they all pretty much just become characters. Like, 
there's that's pretty wild. There's like a cool thing that you can do with like the banner guy, mm-hmm. where they can come down with like three inches of somebody, mm-hmm. and then they can all split at the start of your next turn and split and then just kind of like spread out. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's definitely it's fluffy. fluffy. It seems like something they would yeah. do. Um, one fluffy one for Tyranids for all you Tyranid fans. If you take several Zoanthorps, they can do a psychic barrage, and it's um, you have to have multiple Zoanthorp units within range of each other. If you roll a four plus on the enemy that's within range of all of the units, and on a four plus, the enemy takes three d three mortal wounds. Whoa! So it's pretty strong. So kind of good. But yeah, you got to bring. You got to have a bunch of Zoanthorps. Yeah, are pretty pretty. Uh, so again, fluffy but good. Right. And it, it's like your brains are exploding in your head. Right. Ah, brain bugs. I like it. Oh, I can't really think of them anymore. All so the ones where you ones, fight before but... you die are fluffy. But they're good, they're too. Like, yeah, they're also good. Um, yeah. Yep. Uh, I think... I mean, there's uh, tons in the Space Marine books, but they're all so specific that yeah, we're not going to go over yeah, each this, one. The Snooping Dive, too, from Custodes. It's the one where you can charge in your opponent's charge phase. That's charge fun. in your opponent's charge phase. Yeah, use the stratagem at the end of your opponent's. Well, it's at the end of your opponent's charge phase, but still in it. That's really cool. Choose, choose an adeptus custodes biker unit from your army that is within twelve inches of the enemy unit. You can declare a charge with that unit as if it as if it were the charge phase. Well, that's hilarious because your enemy uh, doesn't even have to charge. It nope. just says in the in yeah. the charge yeah. phase. So, so it's, like it's if it's they like don't charge at all, yep. you get to go. Boop. It's like mm-hmm. Moroccan intervention. Okay. That's, that's, that's awesome. super cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, two CP. It's three, three CP. Three. Oh, it's God. expensive. Yeah. All the fluffy but ones are like, good, though. But I mean, all the bike units have the lances that are good whenever you that get charged. That's the game, though. Yeah. Charging yeah. in your opponent's phase when they're not ready yeah. for it. Well, just, I mean, if they, like, want to charge, like, a guard squad or like or if they're trying somebody. to screen you yeah. with, like, a guard mm-hmm. squad and, like, you know, I know they can fly, but you give them a couple screens and then all of a sudden, bam, they're into the first one. Yeah. And they kill it. Because. Because it's in your opponent's charge why? phase. <laughs> so, like, what you can do is, since it's in your opponent's charge phase, they can't shoot you. So, yeah. like, if you're behind a building and you need to, like, get up to tie up a tank or something like that, you can spend 3 CP and go ahead and charge and go so and attack a unit. you can't overwatch it? Well, I guess you can. You could overwatch Well, if you're behind a wall, they can't overwatch it. No. Yeah. So that's, that's but it's just kind of a way to get you up the board if you can kill, like, a guard. Plus, well, so I, I don't think I don't think Custode, like, Bikers are that scared of Overwatch. They're like no. six wounds each with a two up save. Yeah, like T5. Yeah. Yeah. They're T6, crazy. I think. Oh, they're only five up in though. For, I was surprised when I saw that. It's, oh, really? it's worse in than the Harlequin bikers. Yeah, but they're better toughness and more wounds, and they have a Hurricane Bolter. Yeah, Hurricane Bolter is crazy. <laughs> and uh, a two up armor. armor. Yeah. There's one from the Demon book that stood that's out as good. super fluffy. If your opponent ever suffers a peril of the warp anywhere on the board. You can spend one CP and they suffer two D three mortals instead of one D three. It's kinda cool. That's, that's oh, pretty, pretty solid. Good too. Yeah. I mean it could yeah it could definitely like don't they have turn the tide of the game. They have one where you could turn him into a demon. A spawn or the whatever. seventh edition or something. Uh, no there's there's lots of things that turn opponents into spawn but you have to spend the points oh, for the spawn. Yeah. Dang. But um that's John did that the other day with with Magnus. He saved like fifty points because spawn are only twenty five points now. Hmm. And if Magnus kills a character, they just turn into a spawn. Oh, okay. it was kind of cool. I like that. You got fifty points to save. Why not? There's another stratagem in the Demons book that's like specifically against Grey Knights. That's like if I kill if the Grey Knights the kill thing, your whole unit comes back. Yeah, the whole unit comes back, but it's killed by a Grey Knight unit. Yeah, it's. And Grey Knights are like, supposed to be fighting them. and I'm always confused they, about whether or not you're supposed to spend points like before the game starts. So I don't think so. But it's, it's if it's like an that, entire right? so. new unit being created, like is not on your roster, that requires points. Mm-hmm. Okay. If it's a bringing a, a unit back to full strength, no points. But the, but the demon one is like the whole unit gets destroyed. Then it's points. Yeah, that's weird. But then you set the whole unit back up. So right, or something like the fact that it only works against Grey Knights makes you think it's probably. I mean, probably yeah, if you were playing yeah. someone and you did that and they called you out, you'd be like, "Bro, I'm playing Grey Knights." Yeah, <laughs> liquid, 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 you don't have to do shot. that. <laughs> you can't. You don't, do um, yeah, until they get their codex. I think they'll be good when they get their codex. Uh, there's like a really good one, really funny, hilarious one in this one where 
uh, you can turn your scarab Necron scarabs into like kamikazes. They blow up. Oh, nice! You can send them in and do D three mortal wounds. Blow, and you have to remove a base when you do it. Boom, boom, boom! I wish you could do it with a whole unit. It's like a unit of six. six. Remember when scarabs six were like the best thing ever? What was it? Sixth edition they, or six and seventh? Remember the rules didn't really change much in sixth. Well, it was when they used to make their armor value less. Maybe it was fifth. Or, or they had a rule where they could wound anything, even things right. that you wouldn't normally be able to wound because the armor value was too high. This is before right. eight, so things are a little way crazy. Yeah, I, I, way I, I got no idea. I, I don't miss it, but I do, I do miss it sometimes when like, uh, you know, a Gretchen pistol wounds a, like a knight. Yeah, or <laughs> like, like a Titanic model. Mm -hmm. You're just like really, but other than that, the new rules are way better. Oh yeah, uh, it was let's great. See. Uh, how about Admech? Can you think of any fun fluffy There's ones? There's probably some silly ones. I mean, there. like, they all have ridiculous names, so that's pretty fluffy. Yeah. Conqueror, <laughs> and doctor, and doctor Imperative, or whatever, <laughs> Imperative. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think that any of the ones that, the one where you can repair twice, but I'd call that more essential. Yeah. Like, that's just... It's also fluffy. Mm -hmm. that's, what they that's all they are. They're just, like, mechanics. Mechanicus. Yeah. But uh, um, there's, some, there's some fun ones out there. Oh, we'll, there's definitely we'll figure them out on the fly when we're doing battle and I, reports. Yeah, and I like how you know there's fun ones for fluffy narrative games, and there's more essential, crucial ones to either build your army around or you can use and synergize them together. And that's probably what we'll we'll get into next with the really just backbreaking stratagems that if they go off or if you have the opportunity to use them, they can win you the game. Yeah, the type that you see it major tables at the tournaments right. or just the, the games that just win your for fun game <laughs> right then because your lists aren't as strong you're like well that's a strong stratagem well, those are the last ones so OP yeah, we'll absolutely. be back and we'll talk about that okay before we start ragging on space marines for being OP what are some other ones <laughs> uh, I, I personally think that when you kill 29 orcs and the last one just has to spin 3 and Go all back together and bring yeah. strike. It's so yeah. good. Yeah. It's so it's a little much. We well, probably have to spend five to make it. I might be bitter because it's beaten me in tournaments several times, but it's well, just I mean, good. I mean, chaos up two of the same ones pretty much. But it's for it? way worse. Than, like you can't compare an orc to a cultist. Well, no, I mean, just think, just think if you got like a unit of forty cultists and then a unit of twenty chaos space marines. Yeah, but you can recycle both of those. Well, yeah. now the cultist max size is only twenty. I'm pretty sure. Is it? They, I thought they changed it. 20 or 30. It's either 20 or 30. I know it went down. Um, either way, it's, yeah, they're good, but they're not like orcs where, you know, you come back and then you also get close to the enemy and you also get all these reroll bonuses and you're good at combat. So. It, it, it has to come within, within a board edge. Yeah. So it, so it is, it is the identical edge. thing. It's just that it's orcs doing it in a way better codex than the Chaos Space Marines doing yeah. it in their codex. So right. you're already probably behind the eight ball against orcs. Well, like with Chaos Space, Space Marines and stuff, I know there are a few extra points, but I mean, they also have three of armor saved compared to a six of armor saved. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I mean, there's there's definitely and a, way better guns. And way better guns. Yeah. Shoot a lot better and. And that full 20 pack could shoot twice if it's slanesh. Yeah. Which we've already gone over. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And if you have like heavy weapons and stuff in the regular Marines things too, they get recycled. Uh, but some of these are kind of random. Like you have to play a lot of Warhammer to even have heard of some of these. But Grot Shields are anything up? Oh, Grot Shields. Are, everyone knows Grot Shields. Yeah. yeah. That one's <laughs> amazing. Grot Shields amazing. You could also know Grot Shields. About it. Yeah, I did too. You could also put Grot Shields in Essential. Like right. You yeah. can't play Orcs with that. I mean, you can. But. Well, most so of the Orcs are Essential. Shoot but. the Grots first. Shoot yeah. them first. It sucks, but you got to. I mean, sometimes if I know I'm going to overkill the whole unit, right? like when I'm shooting my robots, I'll shoot the unit and hope they do grass shields because then they spin the CP and they might lose both units. Yeah. You know, they like that. almost always use yeah. both <laughs> units. Um, but weird ones know. like, uh, okay, like Demon Forge, which is reroll all hits and wounds for, a, uh, what was what it, the Demon, Demon, Engine. Demon, Demon Engine. Engine models? Doesn't seem OP, but when you put it on a Lord of Skulls, it suddenly it's rerunning all hits and wounds with all of its guns. Yeah. It's incredibly powerful. It's only one CP. Yeah. 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 So it kind of depends sometimes what you're putting it on. Right, yeah. The OP ones, you typically have to build your army or a unit around that strategy. Mm -hmm. Like, that's yeah. what it's for. Like, even the little combo we did in our bat battle report the other day where you take, like, a 10-pack of just regular intercessors. you got to spend about 2 to 4 CP on them, but, 
you can get them to pump out 40 shots. And I mean, you're, yeah, that's crazy. You're going to annihilate most screens. 40 shots with whatever bonus you're... Well, I think what makes that one... Is, yeah. Yeah. I think what makes that one just overpowered is just it's one CP. Yeah. Because that's about like the act at full for like knights and all that too. Yeah. yeah. It's one CP. That's so you know, good. Another and one that does the exact same thing word for word, reroll hits and wounds for one CP, is the Necron Destroyer Extermination Protocols. Yeah. Now... All these Necron ones, we were joking about this earlier, you could put them in all of them. Because yes, it's OP, but Necrons are, they need the help. So like, it's also essential. You have right. to bring And destroyers. it's also fluffy, because yeah. they're called destroyers. Yeah, like. extermination <laughs> protocols. Yeah, like, you have to bring destroyers if you want to do good in the tournament. And you're always going to bump that CP every single shooting phase. Yeah. It's just... So it's essential, and it's a bit OP. But nothing about that army is very OP. So Yeah. There's a couple keep, keep using the Necron players. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, Wrath of Mars on six Castling Robots. Yeah. Yeah, again, like you build the unit around yeah. it, it's gonna, it's gross. It'll it, take it's down... Your whole 660 points. Take and the characters outside of Forge World the, models. Yeah, the characters right to buff away. it, so it's like your whole army. So at that point, okay. it's good and bad. Yeah, it's, it's like 660 plus Kyle's 190, so yeah, it's, it gets up there. I put Knight's Death Grip, but I think you're right. I think it's more fluffy. Now, it was yeah. really good when Smash Captains were the, the end-all, be-all, because you're like, oh, cool. Come at me, bro. See, I, I may have been using it wrong, because, I, I mean, I just know from the rules that more wounds carry over, but I, I feel like I've done it to destroy, like, multiple models in the same game. Well, you can't even do it unless there's a single model left, so... So yeah, uh, definitely, definitely so I was cheater. doing it wrong. <laughs> cheater. Yeah, put the blinking cheater above my head. No, they, they also changed it to where if the opponent rolls a six or whatever, then they just yeah. pop, they just on my Which is good. I mean, yeah, I know, no chance. I, dude, if you got picked up by a building sized vehicle and you're in its right. fist, you're probably dead. Yeah. yeah, but what if I'm the main character in the movie? There has to be some right, way to squeeze out of there, right? There has to be some way to. Then like... you should be at least strength <laughs> four, and you're not just. Auto death. Like Grotz? <laughs> Grotz getting out? Yeah, yeah right. Or, uh, <laughs> what are the Brian Stone horrors? Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> well, I think they immediately take D3 mortal wounds. If you hit them. Yeah. If you hit them. Right, so you start off right away. So you start off right away and kill, right them, away, yeah. kill them pretty just, much anything besides a character. It's for right. smashing characters. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, the next couple are on Space Marines. But before we get to Space Marines, uh, I, it's not broken because I, I still manage to stay in games when you're doing it, but when one of your artillery tanks can shoot twice with Imperial Guard. Yeah. Well, that's a combo because it's a Vigilus formation, which Vigilus and Vigilus Ablaze are great. They they brought back formations. You could consider that a strategy, no? Unlocking yeah. the Vigilus. Kind of. You have to build it into your list, but yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, being able to, it's two command points, and you can double shoot either a Weverin, a basilisk. Hydra, or a Basilisk. And then there is another stratagem in the Astro Militarum book called Aerial Spotter, where it lets you reroll all failed hit rolls with that, too. So not only are you shooting twice, say, on like, a lever and you're shooting 8d6 between the two shots. You're re-rolling all hits and you're re-rolling all, all wounds because you're a weverin. And then if you want to get a little you better, uh, yeah, you can, from Vigilus, same thing. It's a warlord trait and the guy picks a vehicle. It, it ignores cover. <laughs> so now you kind of see where I'm getting at. Well, yeah, I once may you have stack, this on the OP side. Once you stack stuff, but it's you, really gross. You do burn through your CPs real quick. It you costs you four to do that. Every turn. Four mm -hmm. CPs. I mean, you have to do it at the beginning of the shooting phase. Yeah, that's the other kicker. These right. older codexes... Unlike the orc one, where you can just pick and choose when you do it, you have to declare every space. Yeah. space <laughs> you got to declare it all at the beginning of the shooting phase. I mean, there's another good one I forgot to mention. It's the plus. It's it's pretty under the radar too. Vostroyan only, but you pick a unit plus one to hit. So like you put it on a tank commander, all of a sudden you have a Vostroyan guy who's hitting like Pask for way cheaper. Or a. Um... Or you play flyers or Eldar. The, the anti flyer, the Hydra, you gotta hit it on twos against a yeah, flyer. Yeah, if you wanted to. Yeah. That's pretty good. It has to be Vostroyan, though, and I personally like, well, I guess it doesn't really matter for him because he's a flat the amount Hydra. of shots, yeah. but the Katachin is way better on like the multiple shots. So that's another mm -hmm. thing about the double shooting Weber, and if he's Katachin, uh, he gets to re roll one of those uh, D uh, four, six shots, one of the dice, each time he shoots. So it's just, it's dumb. It's such a good combo. Um, I apologize to any Gene Steeler cult players. We've not mentioned them even once. We don't even have the Yeah, book. don't have the codex. Um, don't play sure them. Oh, wait, I, I do. I forgot it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, uh, I got it. I'm sure they have 
uh, stratagems that fit into all these categories. Same with like dark Same. angels, you know. Sorry. Well, oh, but so a couple of their blood good. angels have some OP ones. Oh, they are good. We don't, I don't even have the new blood of ball, but I'm sure it gets better in there. Yeah. I don't know the names or anything else of some of the stronger ones for Gene Silver Gold, but I know there's one where you can move um, when you come in as three CP, and you can either I think it's shoot or move up to D six inches. What out of phase, so then you shoot again in the shooting phase. Yeah. Nice. So it's in, so it's like in the movement phase when you come up. So, it's kind so of like people would take like the Kel- so people would like take the Kelmorph, the, the little the gunslinger guy, gunslinger, right? yeah. Yeah, the western guy, and then pop up within twelve inches and then use that and shoot it and then shoot again in the shooting phase. Wow. Okay. That's really um, good. But like people would use it like on aberrants, a big squad of aberrants, and they just move D six inches closer to whatever they want to after charge. Deep striking. After after they come in for yeah, deep well, strike. Much up, easier up striking. Yeah. Whatever. Sewer striking. Bro. Or there may be two different <laughs> stratagems. I'm pretty sure they're the same stratagem, though. Like we said, we don't have it. I but, think it's called, like, Perfect Ambush. Um, if you're a Gene Stiller Colt player, put your put the strongest one in the comment yeah, section. I know there's so the one where it. they can add, like, D3 blips to the board. Just to mess with people's brains. Yeah, there's a lot of... There's some solid ones. Gene Stealers, they're fun. Yeah. They definitely you gotta have to play fast if you're a tournament player. I've I've had tricky. I've had just the deployment take like an hour against a Gene Slayer Colt player. So, yeah, um, yeah they're a tricky army. Um, the craft worlds, I'm sure they have some. I mean, the winged stuff. fire for Link fire forward. prisms yeah. is dumb good. Like, you could consider the extra minus one, whatever light yeah. fast loop reflexes. That's, if you're already Altiok, that's great. But on the class, they, yeah, yeah. they made it so you can't get more than minus two, which is good. When. Huh? I thought Never. there was an FAQ. When, yeah. did, when did they make it so you can't get more than minus two? In the, uh, either chapter approved or an FAQ. It's kind of their way. Oh. Of you can't be more than, but like, so if, if so, it's not you can't be more than. Say your unit's minus one, and I move with a heavy weapon. I'm minus one. Then you can still pop lightning fast reflexes. It's your single unit. Can never be more than minus two. Days. So then it would still be minus three. I'd still be minus weapon. three. Yeah. Okay, but that makes sense. But yeah, a single unit can never be more than minus two to hit. Um, Which is fine. Minus two is gross, dude. You're making like, you know, at orcs, well, orcs always hit on sixes, but like Admech all of a sudden hit on sixes. Like, mm. damn, even re rolling everything yeah. with Kyle, like you're. Mm. But that's the difference between making them hit or letting them hit on sixes or not hit at all. Well, I right. think they're trying to get away from yeah. not letting people hit at all. Yeah, well, they just remember. need to say that everybody hits on sixes. Yes. But then that hurts orc players. So they're trying to figure out a way because then that's the whole thing about being an orc player is yeah. I always hit on sixes no matter well, what. Well, they get another shot if they hit on a six. That's true. So do so, Imperial Fist kind of well, with both weapons. <laughs> what uh, what did Space Marines not get, Noah? Uh, are we, are we going to... Is it time? Are we going to Space Marines? They get uh, nothing. So Blood Angels... This is half OP, half just annoyed the crap out of me all the times I've played against your Blood Angels characters. There is a it lot. was just Smash Captains moving before the game starts, yeah, Smash can... Captains deep striking and allowing them Overwatch. Like, there's so, yeah, all there's, kinds of... You get a Relic jump pack that gives you re-rollable Overwatch and... a re-rollable charge and Oh, no so it's Overwatch. a Relic. It's not a strategy. It's a Relic. Okay. But you get the stratagem that allows you to just pick a jump pack unit up off the board and re-deep strike them. So you have your captain way in the backfield, and then he just goes boop, boop. And on then, turn one. On turn one. And yeah. then when you deep strike, there's another stratagem that lets you charge 3d6, and his backpack is re-rollable and no overwatch. So uh, he's making it there. Smash captain so isn't, here. Isn't there a thing like where the death company guy can like move twice? Yeah, so yes. there's and another people stratagem. People double unit, too. It yeah. the death, yeah. death, death, company, death, death company. Yeah. But mm-hmm. there's a uh, or either relic right or a warlord trait you can hand out that makes a captain... Death Company gives them right. a plus one attack and a six up. So you always do it with a character, but I've seen in battle reports that yeah. you yeah. a whole pack of them. Yeah, like, and then before packs. the game, after the C's roll, which is perfect because it's right before the first battle round, you can pay a CP for a Death Company unit to move, and they can advance as part of that move. Hmm. And they don't count as moving because it's before the game, so you move up 12 plus D6, plus you go first to move 12 again. So minimum 25 inch movement. Yeah. As much as much Plus as two D six charge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, as much as I love combat armies, I'm surprised I never started Blood Angels. I yeah. went Space Wolves are out instead. Yeah, yeah, they're quick. They have a lot of really solid. Like I don't think any one is just game breaking, but when you make them all happen on one turn, you're like, huh? 
How did these three guys just get to my oh, house? Oh, it was constantly. And, and like, the characters little, are one nice. little dude that's like fighting twice and then fighting again when he dies. They can like take on a whole night. And, and it's hard. Points. Like it's really hard to screen <laughs> against one unit, one one model. You know, like you have your screen against your tank or whatever, and it's like, cool, bro. I'm an inch or like thirty two millimeters. Like, boop. I they're hungry. You. They're hungry for blood and command points. Yes. Yeah. Oh God! It you'll use ten in the first two turns. I mean, yeah, I don't. No I don't want to turn this into a complaint fest, but I'm just like, I hate when stratagems are worth more than points. So like, an eighty-five point guy uses ten stratagems and kills a four hundred point unit. Should they really be more important than the actual models we're buying? Like that's that's kind of my mm-hmm. whole mindset. Where right. I love stratagems. It's made eighth edition the best edition ever. Yeah. But sometimes it's like. People only care about stratagems. Like, yeah, well, it's like CP yeah, farming. Like, like, well, I have all these units I want to bring, but I can't because I'd rather bring these three detachments that guarantee me all these CPs. Yeah, you know, or I love yeah. this warlord trait; it's by far my favorite, but I'll never bring it because I'd rather CP farm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, I don't know. CP being slave to the CP is is there's yeah. a reason you do it. It makes your army very good. Yeah, but. I'm glad, going, going, it's kind of yeah. like, I'm glad they're going more towards mono faction. It's fun when you're not just popping the same one over yeah. every, every turn, over yeah. and over again. But God, other, I mean, every so, Space Marine chapter has a crazy Yeah, so when we get to the Space kind of, Marines, it's just kind of nice having the feeling like whenever somebody does something, like you shoot that unit, it's kind of nice just saying that I'm going to spend a CP to up their involve or whatever. You know oh, what, yeah. those ones you know what are, I mean? Like Those reactionary ones. Yeah, the reactionary are, ones where it's like, important. okay, I've got a chance to survive. Oh, yeah. I didn't say the most essential repulsive. one of all time. Just rotate ion shields oh, yeah. for nice. Yeah, no, I mentioned that. It's the thing. most essential. Yeah. It's the most essential forward, strat right. there is. You I mean, have to do it. Yeah. You do it every time. Um, yeah. yeah, we didn't really go over stratagems that you do pre-game. Yeah, those are all very important, too, yeah. for some armies, like especially Imperial and Chaos Knights. Chaos Knights, basically all the... All the best relics from Imperial Knights are now stratagems, so you can just have it. You can have it all if you with your chaos knights or more. Codex creep, you know, you just get everything. They're good. Uh, yeah, I like that they changed all the relic ones now to where you can bring as many as you as want. Many characters as you got. Yeah, <laughs> start with Space Marines. It's just one. Per no, month. there was Unari. Unari does. It I think. Too. I okay. think in the White Dwarf version of Unari, they did it, or it was in the Psychic Awakening. But I know Yanari can do it, and they have really good relics. And I mean, at the end of the day, traits. you have to put it on the character, and you have to pay a CP for yeah. it. So I'm fine with it. I like it. I think it's cool, so then you're not like... Because there's a lot of times that I would like to bring like an extra relic or two, but I don't really want to pay three CP for two relics. Yeah. Right, yeah, Especially the Grey Knights. <laughs> so yeah, when you're not exactly <laughs> cheering you know, off CP. But, uh, you know, they're like Space Marines, but not. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, Space Marines. Uh, and this is before well, Psychic Awakening comes out. I mean, every though, specific so supplement has amazing ones. Yeah, I'll start with the generic ones. Transhuman physiology. physiology. Just, so good. You can't wound my Space Marines on anything but a 4-up. Infantry no units and biker units only, I think. But still, it's after you get targeted. So, so you're like, oh, cool, your knight or whatever is shooting you know, dual thermal cannons at me. Yeah, they wound on 4s, not 2s. Yeah. This next one is kind of depending on what you put it on, but the whole um, dreadnoughts having damage on a dreadnought, you're like cool, whatever. But on a Leviathan, you're like, this is game winning. Yeah, he already has like, a two up, four up. Yeah. You know, so all of a sudden, if he's, he's an ultramarine, Tigerius gives him a minus one to hit, and then yeah. he's having damage. So like, it's, you just can't get rid of him ever. Like it's, it's impossible. It's real hard. It took all three of my dual thermal knights like three turns to kill him. Yeah. Like it just took forever. Or Bray Arth Ash Mantle, the guy yeah. that. He can have damage. He's T9. Yeah. And he's he's, done he's basically five up involved, he's four up feel no pain. He's his own version of that, basically. Yeah. Um, I think the Ultramarine, no, it's all Space Marines, where you shoot Deep Strikers. It's yeah. so powerful. And so they have to show up so within powerful. 12 of an infantry. And I thought maybe but. Tau had that, uh, Riptide. Didn't uh, they used to be able to shoot Deep Strikers? They, they, got, they got a thing called gear, uh, right. war, Early Warning Override. It's so a it's war, sort of war gear. It's a war gear that yeah, they can bring. Better than it's good, but you typically don't see it much anymore. Because you want to bring you, the other And stuff. your drones are so surrounding your Riptides. I've just had no so many games enough. where it's already such a gamble to hold your best unit till turn two. And then they finally come in and they just get obliterated. <laughs> You're yeah. like, oh god, Hellblaster is mm-hmm. just ending people. I mean, it's my fault because I eventually learned that if I... If I drop 13 inches away, you can't do it at 12. Because it has to be within 12. So, 
That one's really Live good. and learn, but it's very powerful. The Ultramarines version of Tau Overwatch. Yeah. The strat where they, them and all your buddies can Overwatch. Yeah, it's... And uh, your guns are so much better than Tau guns that it's so powerful. Should right. I tell my story now? So yeah, silly. Yeah. yeah. So, Grey Knight player. Sorry. So, yeah. Stop story. So, <laughs> I played Noah's Ultramarines, and he just brings a bunch of Hellblasters and stuff. All of them. And right. I had, and I had three Grey Masters and Nemesis Dreadnought armor that deep struck and... The, and he killed my land raider that I had and a bunch of other stuff because he went first. And then most of my army was dead by the time my grandmasters could come in. And they deep struck down. He used that stratagem to shoot at him. He shot at one, pretty much killed it. But a lot of his guys died on the overcharge and he had that banner yeah, that would let him shoot when they died. Four up, yeah. Yeah. So, and most of them got to shoot. Yep. So they sh finished off that one. And that just kind of steamrolled in my other one. And then in my shooting phase, the only thing I had to shoot was Hell Blasters. So and, I had to, and, die. and I had to thin the ranks. <laughs> so I shot a unit of Hell Blasters. He made one, Tigerius made one minus one to hit. So I didn't even focus on that one. Most of them died themselves just by killing themselves. Yeah. And then they shot again. Yeah. And for two more hits. Yeah. yeah. And so silly. at the end of the shooting phase, he pretty much killed that one. So that's two down. And then the one was like half dead. And then I tried to charge a unit of two. And then he got to overwatch with like three people around him. With all, yeah, yeah, with all of them. Uh, the so I lost is. three of my grandmasters. Yeah. The game was over. In my turn. Well, yeah. Turn two. No, yeah, that's, that's, that's it's it. silly. It's a good stratagem. It's whenever an Ultramarines unit is declared the target of a charge, it's two CPs. And f up to three units within six inches of that unit get to fire overwatch. So, yeah. I mean, when you bring 30 Hellblasters, yeah. It's not, again, it's not one of those ones that's, like, good across the board. Mm -hmm. Like, if you did it with Tactical Marines or Intercessors, it's okay. It's still good, but when you do it with Hellblasters that die and get to shoot as if it was the shooting phase, and you have a Chapter Master there and a Lieutenant, like, it gets done quick. Oh, yeah, just all the rerolls. All the force multiplying. But, yeah, um, that's a good one. Ultramarines have some... I haven't played since. I don't know if there are other key <laughs> ones, but... <laughs> <laughs> not that I, not that come to mind. Uh, Imperial Fists have a couple really good ones. You can give a unit plus one to wound against uh, vehicles. So and they're already plus one damage. If you're in the heavy doctor and they're another AP, yeah. So you have a normal intercessor with a stalker bolt rifle doing minus three AP flat three damage. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it gets silly. Um, we talked about it earlier. Orcs having two different strats that allow them to shoot twice. I think all they need to do is like put some wording to where you can't use them both on the same unit. Yeah, because yeah. you get the relic shock attack gun shooting right. a ton, and you're just. But that know. gun's so random that most of the time I won't even do. Right, but when sure, you shoot sure, it most three of the time, times, sure. it's <laughs> it's so, I mean, sure. sure. go off once of those yeah, three certain, times of shoots. Yeah, there's a local Midwestern orc player that we play every single tournament, and, and he every rolls time, incredible. Yeah, every time right. he goes to a tournament, he wins unless his teammates are there. Yeah, well, Every, I mean, he's like three they're a strong three. team. They're the best team. Yeah, they they are. Um, they're quite happy about it. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, that that orc orcs can be so good as long as they have stratagems. Yeah, um, we were kind of you know I was complaining about stratagems earlier. I do like sometimes by like turn four, everyone's out. Mm -hmm. you know, and it's old school war. You know, we're back to old school <laughs> warhammer, like sixth edition, like before we just rolled dice. <laughs> it's so funny that they kind of took a lot of these rules from AOS, but AOS doesn't have stratagems. They right. should. They yeah. should. That's going to be AOS 3.0. They'll just hey, look, two pages of strategy. Well, they already added. Army. They already added in command points and like special things. Yeah, that they're you like boring command, command points. points. It's like you can only no. reroll your charge. Yeah, they're right. yeah. It's, like it's their testing ground. It's yeah. okay. No, all the command points you have to use for um, command traits. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's that too. Yeah, but then like for AOS, there's no like reroll like the normal right no although their their do not run is only one CP mm -hmm. two. but you always have to be close to a character right which so. I can see them changing that if they did that to 40k it would change up everything if you had to be close to your characters yeah it'd make all these eliminators and snipers super important get rid of the characters bing 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 but yeah um just more game breaking I don't know if you have a castle and robot unit near a 
add mech destroyer unit, they both get plus one to hit for one CP. Yeah, and you mix or out. Two, maybe it's two, but it's still so good. Plus so one to hit with Kyle, and you mix it with Wrath of Mars, like it's over for a yeah. few units. You're going to toast a few, or all the small units. A lot of those plus one to hit stratagems and everything else like that, and then the Grey Knights have two, C, two, two CP stratagems that just improve their guns a little bit. Mm-hmm. And most of these, I think, like... I mean, we that one whole, I think should be like two. We can do a whole beer and banter about Grey Knights. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> they are. Oh, they're in so much trouble. GW, what's the deal? Yeah, the guy who wrote them like quit, right? So they just haven't redone them since. That's my guess. Like, oh, oh like Crudence or whoever the guy from Seventh Edition was. That I heard that in uh, the Psychic Awakening, the book that's supposed to come out, the Ritual and the Dam. I heard they're supposed to get real good because I think they get doctrines. Just like any other of the Marines would. I mean... Uh, it would help a little bit, but then it would kind of make... Well, it's like once you add up all those storm bolters and you get into the tactical doctrine and they all have a ren, yeah. and then you use cybold ammunition and like... Well, if they get... Ta- doctor, if, doctor, if, if they get, doctor, get those doctors, get that's all they have to do. Give Space Wolves... Blood or dark Any angels. Any Adeptus Astartes like, gets the well, they, they, they get blood. They absolutely they redid the blood angels, like how they even worked. Mm-hmm. The reroll charges and the red thirst. Yeah. yeah, so good. So, so I'm hoping that they do the same thing to Grey Knights because, but it still probably won't fix the core issue with them. Well, it's like, like they not gave having, the mod like their models don't have the best rules. They gave blood angels amazing rules, but no new models. Yeah, Mephiston. Mephiston. Okay, they did get a new model. Never mind. He's just primary. I, I guess I'm just thinking of Tyranids. Tyranids got like nothing. They got oh, awesome strats, but then the FAQ just came out and like nerfed all their strats. <laughs> so like, hey, all the Tyranids players are like, what? I just went on models. Yeah, I gotcha. Um, yeah, I mean, you could go on about space space marines. I don't. Are there now? Now's where I'm like. I mean, are there sound. some books without any OP? Like, are there any OP Imperial Knight? Uh, running and charge or advancing and charging is not OP. Yeah, but no one really runs the combat knights anymore. I know that was strong earlier in eighth when knights were dominating every battlefield. They act on top bracket. Maybe but being CP. able to get yeah, everyone uh, yeah. warlord traits. That's kind of unique to them. I don't know if it's overpowered, but it's unique to them uh, until space rings. <laughs> it's still not quite the same. You can only. I don't think it's overpowered. One person. I think it's cool that you get those big old models and you can put, you know what I mean, kind of yeah. build yeah. your own we barely mentioned, mech. We barely mentioned Drakari. I don't know if they have anything OP in terms of... I mean Vect, but Vect, it's four Vect, CPs. But like, you're I know it's four CP, but I mean, like, you'll only use it about one time a game. Right. And there's going to be that one time that you're going to want to use it. Oh, for sure. So I don't, I, that way I don't consider it as OP. It's more like clutch. Like, you no, have yeah. to have it right then. I, I did it once to keep a... 15 pack of Ludas from shooting again. Or you they could, already had Daka Daka Daka, so it was really important. Like, you could stop Green Tide. Uh-huh. Like, yeah, huge. it's really good against certain armies. Um, orcs, specifically. Yeah, I don't know if this dreams. one's if you needed to stop, like... Or, like, a knight that's about to act at full bracket. What I always did was I had 18 Haywire Bikers, and I'd shoot them all at, like, a castle and knight. And when it's about to spend one CP for a 5-up against Mortal Wounds, I'd be like, Vect... No. Sorry, the whole night's dying. There's nothing you can do about it. Right, it's happening. So that, that's kind of fun to like rip someone's heart out of their chest. That's what the nice thing about Beck. They're it's so just, excited about it. Are there any other four CP stratagems? I think no, the House, it, House Raven just for that. might be three. So now. this one called the Torturer's Craft, it's only for Hermoculus guys. Uh-huh. But it's pretty good. Um, you could reroll all failed wound rolls in the fight phase. Because most of their stuff on spice, so like grotesque and all that. Oh, well, that can be you know totally OP. That yeah. grotesque because people bring them in ten packs. Yeah. And it's like here's eighty attacks to do more wounds. Or I don't, I don't know if it's really OP because I don't yeah. think they have to fight twice. No, uh, there's a custodes the what are the, the grenades that like make oh fail yeah the, charge the, every time the tangle like, foot grenades. Yeah, tangle foot grenades. Well, you. Take that with the tanks that minus two to your charge rolls or whatever. Yeah, the yeah. repulsor. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then throw grenades at their feet and <laughs> they get like minus grenades. four inches of charge or some something like that. Yeah, it's pretty silly. Yeah, I mean, I feel like Take the ones grenades. that are super OP, they've done a good job of either getting rid of them or making right. them more. The Salamander is always great, one. where your flame weapons just get six hits. Okay, yeah. Or that one Max them out, and you do it on the six back yeah. of the aggressors, and it's like 200 hits. Yeah. <laughs> and gotcha. Yeah, and it's Salamander, so it's like, what, reroll wounds with flame weapons? I don't know. stupid. It's That's like the one chapter I haven't looked at very much. They're good. Salamanders. They're definitely solid. Um, um, but yeah, yeah, 
there's nothing crazy game breaking, but they're all just very good. Well, they had one stratagem where it was you can't target an Imperium unit within so many inches of like a Salamander's character. Hmm. So like I heard of one list that somebody brought it was just a bunch of Battle Sisters and then brought a bunch of the uh, van the veteran squads with the shields that can take wounds for the character. Oh yeah, the that was in a pri- guard yeah that was in a primary detachment, not like the biggest tricks on a guard or anything. Right, like that. it was just like the ones. it was something that could take wounds, and they had like storm shields and stuff. Well, it was just a bunch of sisters that couldn't be targeted, and all it's the snipers good. that tried to shoot the character just got the wounds taken by the oh yeah shield guys. And, That's pretty cool. Yeah, I you know we don't have that book because yet. It's Imperium, we don't have that book yet, but um, I haven't heard anything OP from it. I mean, I've seen a couple of battle reports with the New Sisters book, and there's nothing that stands out as being, like, game-breaking or game-winning. I think they have a lot of flexibility, like Space Marines. They're, yeah. I mean, um, they're, like, a good blend of Guard and Space Marines. They're, like, Marines, Space Marines kinda. that are T3. They have that really <laughs> dumb-looking model. Sorry, it looks dumb. It's, like, the chariot with the person on it, but it's, like, a floating chariot, but it's not drawn what? by anything. You, you think that looks dumb? It's got the four heavy flamers on I'm the bottom? I'm not saying it's not good. I'm saying Wait, it looks good. I think it looks cool. It's it's cool. Really? The, the, like... The palette was something. The guy was like clearly in church or whatever, and he's like yelling down at the like. It's it's a little model. It's like this big. No, it's the person riding the. Uh, what is it? It was like a yeah, it's sort of like a P or something. Like that. <laughs> don't even know I can't remember what it was. Anyway, it's got like four heavy flamers on the bottom of it. Oh, it's I mean, it like floats. Yeah, it's really good. It just looks. It's like a so floating good. podium with a big giant eagle on the front of okay, it. Okay, I have seen this. Yeah, okay. it's like the, the first uh, new model they leaked. Their new terrain looks amazing. I'm gonna pick that up. Oh yeah, for the, our battles. the Celestine statue. Yeah, it's just a big statue with this like stained glass all around it. it looks amazing. I'm just gonna use that as my Celestine model. Yeah, so she's taking me tall now. Sorry, <laughs> but um. I like the Still only the crazy new points. like I like the dot di- diorama one yeah. yeah it's like a diorama it's like um the new Bone Reaper guy yeah the Catacros yeah it's just like a diorama yeah do you see yeah. Abaddon one model of the year so it's been a chaos model four straight years I mean they do have they do specifically so chaos much face detail though. who does model of the year uh, GW GW yeah, the you you GW. vote on Warhammer Community no I don't know. Um, it was added on this year. Last year, it was like the shredding Slanesh guy. Oh, right. Wow. Yeah. And then the Leopard two years Frank before Boots. that, in, in a row, were Magnus and Mortarion. Which makes sense. Those guys were like crazy good. Well, yeah. Abaddon, well, cool Abaddon's too. cool, but like, I didn't think it was better than. I mean, how did the guy with the guitar beat like the Deacon Eidolon? He's, he's so, did they mix like, 20K and yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's it's together? all their models. Well, I think it's like more had a bunch of cooler Lord rings to win. So sec- yeah, exactly. Yeah. Second was uh, Catacross this year. Like, yeah. I thought that looks better than Abaddon, but Abaddon's very cool. is awesome. I Abaddon's think the, very the Chaos models always just are better than the, their, their Marine counterpart, their Imperium counterpart. Then they just have more detail, detail, more gross stuff, yeah. more cool. Yeah, yeah that would be another beer and banter. <laughs> beer is part of this, so we start rambling. <laughs> yeah, I so. think we covered most of the, the crazy... <laughs> 8th edition is not bloated at all. You don't need that many books. Yeah, we only have a few armies each. Start stacking it up. Yeah. Sorry, Logan. We're just going to put this in front of you. Anyway, thank you for joining with us. We start rambling, but that's kind of the fun of beer and banter. Um, like, subscribe. We'll come back. We'll do another one of these for relics because yeah. relics can be OP mm-hmm. as well. Definitely. Maybe a warlord traits in there, yeah. too. Something like that. Three easy ones. Hey, guys. Cheers. Thanks. Thank Logan, you. Logan, thanks for coming. Yep. Have a good one.